I got hair in my lip gloss. Huh. What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super pumped because we are going to be continuing on our declutter series with my foundation collection. If you guys haven't seen my other declutters, I'll link them on top of this video in the cards as well as in the description box. But so far I have decluttered my eyeshadow palette collection and my highlighter collection. And you guys seem to really like those videos. So I figured we would continue on and do my foundations because your girl hoards foundations and I do have a little bit of a reason as to why I keep a lot of foundations just because my skin tone can vary greatly naturally I'm super super fair um, but you guys know that I do use self tanner so that makes my skin darker and then of course like in the summer I'm out and about so my skin is naturally darker as well so my skin tone can fluctuate like from the lightest shade in the foundation range all the way to like I would say middle of the medium range so that's part of the reason why I've kept so many foundations over the years it's just so I do have a foundation for any day where my skin tone may be you know different but I mean honestly it's gotten to the point where I'm like okay there's no one in the world that could use this many foundations so it's probably time to donate some so we're gonna go through my collection today and I will donate all the ones that I don't think I will use to a local women's shelter and we'll also check for expiration dates and stuff like that because I think some of these foundations may even be expired because I've probably had them for a long time. So those will be going to the garbage. If you guys like these types of videos, be sure to give them a big thumbs up so I know to keep doing these. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already and click that little bell right next to the subscribe button so you guys can be notified of all of my future uploads. And yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, we are about to get down and dirty in this drawer right here. It has been forever since I have gone through here. I do have a few concealers um, on the side here, so I'm just gonna move those towards the back when I get to them because we're just gonna be focusing this declutter on foundations. And I actually don't have a dedicated drawer in my Alex 9 drawer system right here that you guys see for foundations. I just have this one kind of half drawer and then I have a different drawer on the other side of the room. So these ones are probably my least, least used. So let's go through them. First right here, I see the LA Girl Pro Coverage. This one I'm going to go ahead and donate. Then I have this one from Bobbi Brown. This is actually a really nice foundation, but it's way too light for me, which is why it's in this drawer. It does match me when I'm super light. Uh, it is in the shade porcelain. I'm gonna put this to the side right now because I think I might have another shade in this that is a little bit darker. Oh, I have them here. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the darkest one that I have because I have three of these Bobbi Brown guys. Um, so I have Cool Ivory, Ivory, and Porcelain. So I think I am gonna keep Cool Ivory. This one looks to be the darkest, so I'm gonna keep this one, so I'll put it over to the side, and then these two I will go ahead and donate. Then I have the Amazing Cosmetics Foundation. I've honestly never tried this. I'm gonna go ahead and donate it. Then we have the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. I'm not a big fan of this foundation, so I am gonna go ahead and donate this. Then I have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. I do have a lot of these in my other drawer, but I'm gonna put this one to the side. You guys can see I've used a lot of this. Um, there's not actually that much in here, but I do really like this foundation, so I'm gonna keep it for now. Then I have two of these L'Oreal Total Cover Foundations. I wasn't a huge Huge, huge fan of these either. They're a little bit too drying for me, so I'm gonna donate these. Then I have the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour. I'm gonna donate this. The Clinique Beyond Perfect Foundation. This foundation I am gonna keep. I have my super light shade of the Pro Glow from L'Oreal. This is one of my favorite drugstore foundations. Obviously, this would not match me right now, but I promise if I'm not self tan, this does match me, so I am gonna go ahead and keep this. I have a super old L'Oreal True Match. I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. I have another one of those Total Cover foundations, which I'm gonna donate. This is, oh, this is a Sun Glow by By Terry. This actually Actually isn't a foundation I am gonna be keeping this and then I have a dermablend smooth liquid camo foundation I do actually really like this foundation but this is definitely super old so I think this one I'm gonna go ahead and actually toss because it's probably expired then we have this Lancome foundation this is a really nice foundation I'm going to keep this I really should use it more often I have the Tarte Amazonian clay I'm gonna keep this guy I have some concealers here which I'm gonna just move towards the back Give this video a thumbs up if you guys wanna see a concealer declutter and we can do those then. Then I have another one of those Lancome foundations. They're slightly different shades. One is lighter, one is darker. I am going to keep both since I do like this foundation. And then I have the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion. I really, really like this foundation as well. This one is a little deep, it's C5.5. Um, I remember this one being deep and it's a more cooler tone but I am gonna keep it in case it will match me because it is a nice foundation. Then I have the Urban Decay All Nighter in the shade six, I'm gonna keep this. Then I have these Lancome, these are like their tint kind of cushion foundations. I believe these are really light if I remember correctly, which is why I put them in here. Yeah, you guys can kind of see if I press on it that it's like very kind of light. I remember thinking this was a nice foundation, but just too light for my skin tone, so I'll donate. And then I have another one of the Lancome as well, which also I believe is light. And then another Tarte Amazonian Clay, which I'm gonna keep. 
Oh, here are the other Lumi cushions. I knew I had quite a few of them. So we have N3.5 and C5.5. The other one we had was C5.5 as well. So I'll go ahead and donate this one and I'll keep this neutral undertone one. And then I have some of the Makeup Forever stick foundations. Um, these are just their Ultra HD sticks. So we have Y205, I have a bunch of these. They all look, oh, okay, I think these are more like what I would use for highlighting or contouring because they're all very varying shades. Like this one is super, super light. Take it off the packaging so you guys can see. This one is super, super light. So I'm just gonna go ahead and donate this one. And then I have this one, which is super, super dark. So I'll donate that. This one, which would probably be a better bet for me. Um, but I'm still gonna go ahead and donate it. All right, so that is it with this drawer. Like I said in the back here, these are all concealers, so that is a project for another day. Uh, but we definitely did a good job of cleaning out. I'm just gonna put back the ones that we said we were gonna keep right on in here. All righty. All right, moving along to this bottom drawer right here. These are my most used every single day foundation, so I'm probably not gonna be getting rid of too many of these because these are like my holy grails, the ones that I really, really love, but we will go through them just to see if there are some that I can get rid of. Um, so first up here, I see the L'Oreal Pro Grow. There's literally like nothing really left in this, maybe one more use, so I'll keep it for that. Um, but you guys can definitely tell I get use out of this. I have the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir. Again, this is one of my favorites. I am gonna go ahead and keep it. I have two Born This Ways from Too Faced. You guys know that this is like actually literally my favorite foundation these are both oh i have warm beige and then natural beige depending on like how tan i am i'm sorry that, that i was like my arm was like going down out of frame um but yeah these are like literally my holy grails my faves so definitely keeping these guys then i have the new covergirl matte made which i really like as well in m40 gonna keep this i have a couple of these mark jacobs foundations some of them match me i think this is the one that matches me the best i don't know why it looks weird i think just because of the way it was sitting um but this is medium y320 this one matches me well definitely Definitely keeping that this one doesn't match me as well this is medium r310 so I'll go ahead and donate that and then I also have a lot of these NARS foundations which I do like too but I do have like quite a few of them I'm not sure that I need all of these I'll probably keep the middle one that's the one that matches me the best which is in the shade Punjab so I'm gonna keep that um, and then I'll go ahead and donate these two guys. Then I have another Marc Jacobs. This one is the medium R300, similar to the other ones, but I'm going to donate that. Oh, another one of the Bobbi Brown foundations. This one I will donate, it looks pretty light. Then we have the Wet n Wild foundation. I really, really like this. I love the applicator on this, it's super cool. If you guys, I'm sure you've seen it, but that's the applicator and I've always liked that applicator. So definitely keeping this, although it does smell like paint. <laughs> Just a disclaimer. Then I have the NYX Total Control Cover Drops. It needs to be shaken up, but I do like these. I'm gonna keep them. I have the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick. Gonna keep this. Another Too Faced Born This Way that's missing a cap. Oh, here's the cap. I've got the cap. This one is probably, oh, this is in vanilla. Hmm. This needs to be shaken up because this is a lighter shade actually, but it doesn't look that light. But this is for when I'm not really super self tan. So I'm gonna keep this. Oh, I'm excited that I have a backup of my L'Oreal Pro Glow. I thought the other one was the last that I had. This one is a shade darker. Um, this is 207, the other one's 206, but hopefully I'll be able to use this in the summer because this is one of my faves. Then I have an Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude. This is one of my favorite foundations as well. Gonna be keeping this. I have the Maybelline 24 Hour Super Stay. This one I did a review on and I remember I really liked this foundation, but the one that I bought was way, 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 way too dark, but I never ended up like returning it or exchanging it for a different shade. I just kind of kept it. So I am going to go ahead and donate this because it's too dark for me. Then I have, oh my God, this is like a holy grail from forever ago. This is Max Studio Fix Fluid. This was like the first foundation I ever bought. I'm going to be keeping this. Obviously it wasn't like, this was not the actual bottle that I first ever bought, but this was one of the first. Then moving along, I have the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. I do like this one, so I'm going to keep it. Now we're getting into the nitty gritty in the back here. So we have the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. This is really, really nice, really full coverage. I'm gonna keep this. I have another foundation from Becca. This is their Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. This is also really nice, very different than the other Becca one. This one is very, very luminous, but it's beautiful. So I'm definitely gonna keep this. Then I have a ton of the Tarte Shape Tape Foundations. I'm a bigger fan actually of the matte finish in the Shape Tape Foundation than the hydrating. I do reach for the matte ones. I rarely reach for the hydrating ones, which is interesting since I do have dry skin. The matte one I just think is really great and the coverage is bomb. So I'm gonna keep the ones that I have that are matte and I'm gonna donate the hydrating. So I have like a lot of varying shades because they sent me 
them out. So keeping Matt donating this and keeping the Matt donating this. Then right here, this little guy, I love this foundation, but he leaks. It drives me nuts because um, I've had to clean this drawer out multiple times because this was leaking. But this is the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation. I feel like I don't hear that many people talking about this, but this is a beautiful foundation if you have dry skin. It's very, very glowing and very pretty. So gonna be keeping this. Then I have the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is probably the most bougie foundation that I own, so I am gonna keep it. I have another one of the CoverGirl Healthy Elixirs. This one is a lighter shade if I'm less self-tanned, so I'm gonna keep that one. This one, oh my gosh, this is old. This definitely needs to be donated um, or actually probably thrown out because you can tell how old it is because I have an old CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation pump on my MAC Studio Fix Fluid because they fit each other. And that was before I wanted to like actually spend the money to buy the MAC ones, which look like how this one has the black. Um, so I used to use the old CoverGirl ones. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out because this is definitely probably expired. Then I have a bunch of the Urban Decay All Nighter foundations back here. I definitely don't need to keep all of these because I did already have it in shade six. So these are shades four, five, and six. So I'm gonna donate the six. I'll keep four and five since I already had the six and I'll donate um, this other one. Then I do have another one of the Becca Ultimate Complexion Creams. This one is a bit lighter, so I'm gonna keep this. Then I have the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I'm not a huge fan of this foundation, actually. I know a lot of people really like it. I just, I don't know, it's not for me, so I'm gonna donate this. I have the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. This one is in medium beige. I'm gonna be keeping this. And then, of course, I have the Kat Von D Locket, which is like the most full coverage foundation ever, so gonna be keeping this. Oh, and you guys, I actually forgot to show you. I had this guy sitting right out on my counter because I used this as my foundation today, but this is the Benefit. Fit Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation. I'm definitely gonna be keeping this because I love, love, love this. So plopping that right in there, closing this drawer out. All right, now this last drawer down here at the bottom, I have a lot of duplicated foundations. Like I have the same foundation in multiple shades. So this is where we're really gonna get into the nitty gritty and be like, okay, is this ever gonna match me? Because if not, we're gonna donate it. Um, so I have a lot of the Makeup Forever HD foundations. Um, this one looks like it could potentially match me, so I'm gonna keep it. A lot of these are gonna end up looking like they could potentially match me, so we're gonna have to probably revisit. But this one also looks pretty good. So does this one. All right, this is gonna be a lot harder, I think, than I thought. Um, this one looks like a little too pink, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. This one is a bit light, so I'm gonna donate this one. This one is too dark, so I'm gonna donate it. All right, we're getting better. We're making a little progress. This one is also too dark, I believe, so I'm gonna donate it. And then this one is also a little too dark. So it's being donated. Then I have a lot of these Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. Like I said, I do really like this, but I don't know that I need all of these. This one looks like a good match for me, so I'll keep it. This one looks like it'll be a little too light, so I'll donate. This one looks like a lot of these need to be like shaken up. <laughs> but this one looks like it could match. This one is also could match if I'm like self tan, so this will be the last one probably that I'll keep. Um, I will donate this one and donate both of these two because they both look light. Then, oh, this is random. These should not be in here. These are little NARS liquid blushes, so I'll move these out of here and I'll put them in this drawer over here. Then we have two of the Stila. These are like interesting. They're like foundation sticks, but then I think the top has concealer, which is actually pretty cool. I don't know what the shades I have in here. I have light three and fair two. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate fair two and I'll keep light three. Then I have Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is a really nice foundation. I'm gonna keep this. This looks like it'll be a little too dark for me to wear in that foundation, so I'll donate. This one looks like it could work, so I'm gonna keep it. Moving back here, we have this Bare Minerals foundation, the Bare Pro. Um, I'm not a crazy fan of this foundation. I like the powder, but not the foundation, so I'm gonna donate. Then I have the Dior Air Flash. Have to keep this guy. Then I have some of these Models Own Foundation Sticks. These both look pretty dark, so I'm gonna donate them. And then I have another one right here. This one also looks dark, so I'm gonna donate it. Then we have another one of the Bare Minerals Bare Pro going to donate. I have this Tarte. This is actually a really cool foundation from Tarte, and I feel like I don't hear that many people talking about it. I heard someone say that like, this was similar to the Shape Tape or something that they like repackaged it or something. I don't know that I think that's the case, but I haven't tested them against each other. Um, but I like this one. This is in Light Medium Sand. This is their Hybrid Gel Foundation. I wanna say this might have been discontinued. Um, I don't know, but I remember really liking it, so I'm keeping it. And then there is another foundation stick in the back here from Model Zone. This one is also way too dark, so donating. Is Are these, oh yeah, I was gonna say, are these like supposed to be highlight and contour? Because it looks like two different colors, but it says foundation stick, so donating. Then we have another Stila foundation. This one is a little bit different than the other ones. This one is like, I think it's a liquid. Yeah, it's one of those. And then 
on the top, there's concealer, so I am gonna keep this. And then we actually have another one of those here. This one is fair too, so I'm gonna donate this one. The other one is a more of a medium shade. Then we have another one of the Tarte Amazonian Clays. I am gonna keep this, I do really like this foundation. And then in the back here, we have one more of the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir. I did already keep two of these, so I will donate this one. And then I have all of the other Tarte, um, the clay sticks, so I have a bunch of varying shades in these. I'm only gonna keep a few, I already kept one, so I'll kinda go through, this one looks like it's too dark, so I'll donate this one. It looks like it should be good though, so I will keep that. I feel like it'll be boring for me to go through all of these shades, um, so I'll just go through like two more and then you guys will know. Basically, if it looks like this is too light, so I'm going to donate. If it's close to me, I'll keep it. Like this one is probably okay, so I'll keep this one. Um, and I'll probably just go ahead and donate the rest because then I will have three. This drawer is gonna have lots more room in it now, which will be nice. I'm gonna bring it back so it doesn't tip over. Alrighty, you guys, so that, oh, those foundations always make it difficult to close, but that is everything. I hope you guys did enjoy my foundation declutter. Thanks for decluttering with me, and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.